she's baked and a laskin so baked and a laskin <laughs> hey everybody and welcome to the baked alaskan how are you doing today um crazy times right now this is weight loss wednesday uh <clears throat> excuse me And, um, I just wanted to talk about how I've kind of been struggling lately. And, um, since my surgery got canceled, I've been pretty blue. Uh, in the beginning, I was really ravenous after not eating for two weeks. And it felt like I was eating everything. But I really wasn't eating that badly. I just was eating often. And that kind of settled down as I got more and more bummed out and um, I just lost my appetite altogether. So now I'm back to not really eating very much, which isn't good either. And I'm just really struggling to piece it together right now, um, mentally and physically. Physically, because I'm cooped up with the coronavirus issue outside of in the world, uh, with my MS, I'm very vulnerable, and I have asthma, so uh, it's just safer for me if I stay inside, which makes getting exercise difficult. I try to get out, uh, get some fresh air, go for a walk around the block. But that doesn't really do much uh, in the way of exercise. Um, I am looking into getting my video game set back up so I can do like DDR, Dance Dance Re Revolution, or uh, Wii Fit or something like that because I'm just, I have uh, restless legs. And that is so awful. Anybody that has ever had restless leg syndrome knows how awful it is to like feel all this energy in your legs and not be able to do anything with it. So, um, what else am I trying to do? Uh, I'm trying to do, I think I'm going to do some yoga. Uh, I have a few like yoga C CDs, DVDs. That I'm gonna try to break out and see how I do with those you know um, just to try to limber up uh, it's it's tough you know like I can't even really do walking around my apartment floors anymore because you never know what's in the air uh, like around other people's apartments right so and you know, it's it's not airborne, supposedly. They don't know, but they tell you to wear masks, so. Uh, and I watched uh, my neighbor who has a severely uh, compromised, uh, immunocompromised uh, girlfriend uh, who has very difficulty breathing. And uh, I watched him enter his apartment the other day painstakingly uh, using sanitizing wipes on his shoes, on the frame of the door, on the door handle, while wearing a mask, and telling his girlfriend that he was going to come in, and you know, it was very intense. I feel like I'm living in a disaster movie. with that anxiety that we're all feeling right now if you're an emotional eater you're gonna eat and it's hard to control and you know it's nothing you should feel ashamed about right now everybody's feeling it we're all dealing with it in different ways um, some people are shopping some people are eating some people are ignoring everything and just going about their daily life it's just your choice. 
you know. And uh, it's, it's how we soothe ourselves. And it's not the healthiest way, for sure. Food is not the healthiest way to soothe yourself. But at this point, it's not anything to be ashamed of. And of all the things you could be doing, uh, like drinking or whatever, to quell the boredom. Having something decadent, like an extra dessert or, you know, like an extra snack is not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Not advocating for overeating for sure, but I'm just saying be kind to yourself. That said, I wish I could really find the interest in eating. Um, I have a fridge full of food still and not really a desire to cook or eat any of it, uh, which is really unfortunate. So, um, I'll get through this time. I know I will, but <laughs> a month ago, this isn't where I thought I would be. A month ago, I thought I would be healing up and, and saying goodbye to my aunt yesterday and, you know, doing things that, <sighs> you know, it's not this... This wasn't even on my radar. It wasn't on anybody's radar. And I guess that's what's making it so difficult. So, anyways. I'm going to wrap this up because I'm just babbling about COVID now. And uh, that's not helping anybody's anxiety. So, I just want to let you guys know that I'm here. Uh, I'm as healthy as I can be right now. And I hope you are too. I hope you are staying safe. Those of you that are uh, immunocompromised, um, cancer survivors, cancer warriors. Um, just please guard your health. Much love to you all. Take care of yourselves, okay? Be well.